it feels like it's been ages um, actually I didn't have a stream this when was it this Wednesday I had to skip the, uh, the stream I was I don't know what what happened it was um, I was online for, uh, for uh, like five minutes or something and then Twitch decided to um, um, to give out, or rather, my internet would, would give out every single uh, um, uh, my internet would, uh, would would burst out. You're a little soft compared to the music. Ah, yeah, that's probably because. Oh, there we go. This is probably better. I think it was because I um, I recorded some uh, some some audio uh, through OBS, um, and then I have to uh, turn up the volume of the of the um, of the music of the Chrome music a little bit more. But uh, but hello, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful weekend, actually. Uh, it was very, very good weather in the Netherlands, obviously. I think, Mini Marvels, uh, you had some good weather as well. Uh, let's first open up a well-deserved Red Bull, you guys. Get that energy flowing. Um, yeah, I had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It was um, uh, super nice weather. So I um, I uh, did some work on my bike, and um, then we had some. Uh, me and my girlfriend went to the to the tulip fields um, with the bike, and and we went to the beach and everything um, uh, close by. The only thing that was annoying was all the tourists it was unbelievable i you know i i live very close to like the famous tulip fields and kokenhof and everything um and i had no idea about about how many tourists there are here like on bike and they're they're on the field and everything they're not allowed to be on the field and there's like markers that you cannot be on the field but they still do it, so um, yeah, it was it was a little bit weird, but uh, but okay. Uh, apart from that, obviously, I released uh, the latest video, which was a lot of fun to make. Um, so, actually, the video, it, 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 I was I was doing an unboxing for uh, a lot of uh, Blood Bowl products that I got. Um, everything that you need to to play Blood Bowl Sevens with. If you do not know, Blood Bowl Sevens is a smaller way to play, uh, um, like a, a more compact field, and you have less players and everything. Um, it's it's a it's a lot of fun. It's very good for beginners and everything. So uh, so I thought I'd make a video about you know just doing the unboxing and thing. And, and while I was doing that, I caught myself kind of talking in a very very calm voice i was i was like and i was i was unboxing the plastics and i was like "Ooh, that sounds it sounds like an asmr video and then i was like okay there are, there the parody video was born <laughs> um so i had a lot of fun a lot of fun making that it, it's just picking up um some traction on uh, youtube and i do not uh, expect it to be um getting lots and lots of views really um because you know it's an older set i think this is like from 2019 or something so i don't think a lot of people will be uh, will be looking for it but uh, but i'm enjoying these these unboxing unboxings uh, how i did it uh, like this and it, it was kind of you know it was kind. It was quite easy to make, although like for the first time doing a script like this obviously was uh, was a little bit different. But uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it, and uh, my girlfriend actually she helped out a, a little bit because I showed it to her. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to do more unboxings like that. Maybe maybe other products in the future. Uh, like I said, I try to do as many videos as I can. Um, uh, so yeah, 
Hey Mask Geek, what's going on? Uh, just a quick hello for now as I need to lurk while getting jobs done. Carefully be chatty, uh, hopefully be chatty later. Have a great stream. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I'm starting, I'm starting early today because I have an early, early um, uh, work day tomorrow. Um, but um, yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably be here for a couple of hours for sure. Uh, so yeah, like I, like I said, the video was a lot of fun to make, and it's just picking up some uh, some views right now, uh, which is uh, always nice to see uh, that it does well. But um, yeah, I hope everybody's been doing great. Other than that, by the way, I uh, I binge watched Fallout. I think the entire world binge watched Fallout, and uh, I'm very I want to know what you guys thought about it. I'm I'm a fan. I'm a big fan uh, of the show. I obviously I'm a big fan of the of the games. Or obviously I, um, it's one of my favorite. Uh, I think one of my favorite game franchises ever. Um, and I, I I reinstalled Fallout Four in the weekend as well. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you plan to reinstall Fallout Four, be sure to not install all the DLCs because some of the DLCs they will conflict with your game and you will not be able to boot it up perfect timing Bethesda now that everybody wants to play your game which is an old game everybody wants to play it all your DLC is um, on sale as well so everybody's going to buy the DLC but you cannot install it because it's not going to work so just a little tip, very, very off topic here. Do not download Wasteland Workshop, I think, and Automatron. Those two, they will conflict with your with your game and you will not be able to boot them up. Um, so yeah, just just a little tip. I did um, I did start over with um, with my Fallout game and it was a lot of fun. It, I love that game. Um, especially just you know uh, just getting out of the vault and then do uh, basically go settlement building that's that's what I started to do there um, so yeah so I, I'm very curious if, uh, later if there's a bit more people I will talk about a little bit more uh, because I'm very curious um, what you guys thought about uh, the show I th I thought it was really really cool uh, so yeah uh, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to finish up. I'm not going to say finish up uh, anymore, but we're going to paint some more Star Wars Legion Rebels. Still the Red Squad Troopers. Um, let's see if we can get that up in here. Uh, we've been working on these guys. Uh, they need some uh, some more colors and some shading, obviously. And then there's some guys that need a whole bunch of other stuff. I just did the pants on this guy, so uh, let's um, let's just get to work. Let's get to work. Um, let's see. What do we need? We're going to need some this one, the off white. I have some other thing, by the way, that happened over the weekend that was really, really cool. Um, because I bought a new camera. Finally bought a new camera. It it has been a um, a while since I bought like a proper professional camera, uh, and I'm super excited about it. This camera that we're shooting on right now, this one is the old Sony A7. Um, S, um, which is a great camera, but it's it's ten years old actually. I bought it ten years ago, and and ever since I did I don't use it a lot professionally anymore because I uh, nowadays I kind of I, I kind of hire uh, uh, DOP so camera people uh, with their gear. Uh, so this camera is just just my own. It's um, how do you call it? Uh, afgeschreven as well. It's it's you know it's not really usable for professional work anymore. Um, 
But I thought I'd buy myself a little gift and get a new camera and I'm going to show that off a little bit later. Um, let's first get to painting. So I'm going to use the exact same recipe as I did for all the other guys, which is just a simple one, but um, yeah, some work needs to be done as you can see. Uh, and let's start off with just um, doing some work on the sleeves. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed the Fallout series. It was, uh, it was, it was gritty. It had some humor. Um, it had the right Fallout feel, I think. Um, I like the way that there's some some random people in the world that they bump into. Uh, I like the first settlement, although I kind of hope that that first contact with with a bigger settlement uh, would have taken place a little bit later in the um, uh, in the story obviously that that's probably not possible but I think it would have made a bigger impact I think it was cool though I think it was uh, it looked a lot like uh, what was it called Diamond City uh, Diamond City in uh, Fallout 4. It was a lot like that. Pretty much a copy. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I actually thought about doing some assembly on my Blood Bowl team this weekend, but... I mean, I've been busy last week. Lots of things happened last week. Uh, and... Like I said before, I kind of miss video games as well, you know. Uh, so I just uh, I just installed Fallout 4 and um, yeah, started playing uh, start playing that for a bit. I never actually finished that game, by the way. Fallout 4 was not really interested in the in the main story. I thought it was a bit weak, the main story even. Uh, so yeah Just building right mouse uh, mini marvels Yeah, that's what I did when I started it up um, This weekend <laughs> I went straight to um, uh, what's it called again? I don't know the first kind of like city where the assault is taking place with the guy from the Minutemen and Then you get your power armor and everything and Then you go to a sanctuary where you used to live and That's where I uh, where I got after four hours because then I just started building and uh, and doing all that kind of stuff I am thinking about um, someday because I have I have a pretty big backlog, painting backlog as it is now. But thinking about painting up one of those fault dwellers uh, from um, from the Fallout Wasteland Warfare game, I think it's called. There's actually two games now. I think they recently re released like an easier easier version of that quicker version of that uh, so yeah would love to try that one day but there's many things that I still have to paint uh, most importantly my Mandalorians gosh I, uh, I kind of have to hurry with that 
me and Rick, we both um, we both went back to the to the nine to five, basically the nine to five uh, job life, and uh, we haven't played a game since. So we have to uh, we have to get together soon because I have to try out my Mandalorians. Uh, I did build them though. I I just have to prime them. So I can start painting them on stream because that is most of the times the perfect uh, uh, the perfect way to get them done, just on the stream. But I also want to finish these guys because I I would hate myself if I have uh, Star Wars Legion basic troopers left to paint. I just want to have that sort it out now and to be completely honest with you i'm kind of done with this painting burnout is a is a big word obviously but uh, i'm kind of I'm, I'm getting pretty tired of these these troopers so uh let's just get them done you know let's just get them done uh, okay, so that's it for the white parts. He has like a uh, white sleeves and everything. Nice. Now we have one more guy to do with the white sleeves. Hmm, let's see, this guy has some different sleeves I see now. Hmm, okay. Uh, I don't know if, if, um, if she's going to be here, but I have to give a huge shout out to, uh, to the Rainbow Wrangler. I don't know if you guys followed last time, but she did an amazing, amazing, amazing illustration for the Bunny Wizard. Really, really cool. Uh, thanks, Chelsea. Yeah, it's it's going to be fine for tabletop. Um, the thing is, though, that I, I see that I, I'm really going to. Um, I really have to finish these, so I'm, I'm working towards finishing these models. And I, I want to take on like a different kind of challenge soon. Um, you know, to, to make some models that, that I'm going to put some more effort into. And that sounds really bad when I say it like that, like I'm just, you know, but, but these are just your basic troopers. Um, and I have painted, how many? I think about 15 of them now. So yeah, you can imagine I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of them by now. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking for, uh, for a new challenge. Uh, the Mandalorians will be a challenge. That's one thing that's for sure. They are really, really hard to paint. Uh, especially when you want to do it like I want to do it. But we'll see how that goes. To be honest, this is going to be my first like really army that I have like from any of the tabletop war games that I play. I, I guess you could call my Adeptus Mechanicus is like almost an army. It's basically a combat patrol and then some extra units. And most of it is painted up. Um, but this Star Wars Legion Rebel Force that I have right now is, is like uh, my first proper army that is going to be uh it's going to be done 
well done is also a big word because i have enough star wars legion products to get me through the entire year um i don't know if if any of you were here when i said it but i um i bought like most of the things i still wanted for star wars legion a while back um yeah which you know right now i have a huge backlog uh the plus side is i won't have to buy any more plastic for a while uh, at least no star wars legion okie dokie this guy is about done with the whites. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, I think it is time to use some of <laughs> the Ewok Finger Brown, which is Rage Brown. I use that to do most of the leathers, uh, like the vests and everything, as you can see. Uh, and as I mentioned sometimes before, um, I have a few of these units, so let's get them together. I have a few of, you know, this particular unit. And this is uh, this is the red squad, and that's why I'm going to towards a more uh, reddish color scheme. Um, and uh, yeah, this paint is um, is very nice for that. If you want any of these paints, uh, I highly recommend you go to mini-marvels.nl uh, and use the discount code the winnest. 2024 uh, I think mini marvels you have pretty much all the instant colors now right or at least they're on on order or do you have them all because I love these I have a bunch let's show them off um, this is all instant line and then we got another one which was which was a very very crazy color mana regeneration I love this one as well and how many uh, instant colors are there uh, mini marvels so I got these and they all got their use already I, I like them a lot I like them a lot they're a lot like the Ah, could I say that a lot like the contrast paints? Not really. They they behave a little bit different than contrast paints. They're a bit more. I don't know. You know. You know what it is. The contrast paints they also behave in their own way. You know, if if you have, for example, uh, and I'm talking about the contrast paints by uh, by Citadel, obviously. If you take, for example, um, this one, it's very obviously very muted color and you have to get some layers on there to really stick this one though is super super vibrant and the same goes for the instant color line the nice thing about the instant color line is that they have those little balls in them to shake them up good uh, I always prefer that. It, maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's just me. It's just only only the feel. It's better, you know. It feels like you have like a proper product. Very different from uh, from GW. I have a lot of GW, um, or a lot of Citadel paints, uh, and still like them, and I will still use them. But those instant colors are uh, are amazing. I like them. Uh, 
some of the instant paints are also a little more effect paint. Vibrant with a small side effect sometimes. Ah, yes, that, that's what I found. I never looked up any information about the, uh, about the instant line anyways, but, uh, but yeah. Ben Sminia, what's up on YouTube? How's it going? How is your day today? Uh, but but I like the instant line a lot. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun to use, and they all behave a little bit different. I think it's a perfect product to. You have to first check it out, like on YouTube or something. Ooh, that might be a good video. Um, although I'm not going to be able to get all 48 of the paints, I think. Um, but yeah. It, Temperamental sounds like a, a bit of a bad word. Uh, but yeah. And I feel that this Rage Brown uh, Mini Marvels, I don't know what the side effect is supposed to be, but it feels like it's kind of like made for um leather but also maybe like like um a quick way to paint up uh bears or something bears <laughs> this rage brown actually also has a little bit of effect that it's um it's a little bit lighter here and a little bit darker there. picks up quite nicely I, I like this uh, this rage brown color or as I renamed it Ewok finger brown ah sure Mina Marvels that would be awesome I'm, uh, I would be uh, up for that for show. And for any of your um, suppliers for that matter, but especially this one, because I like this one a lot. Ah, cool. Thank you. It'd be awesome if there would be something um, something we can do uh, so yeah last week we did some predictions by the way on when I would hit 1000 subscribers <laughs> I I'm actually curious to see what let's see what 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 the idea was Uh, we had Cal Redden, who I think you guys are. I think it's. I think it's going to be more like around August, I'd say. But it really depends on what kind of content I'm going to make as well. Uh, because, like I said, I recently uh, released a video. It was an unboxing, a bit of a parody video on those like calm unboxing ASMR kind of like videos. Um, and, um, I don't have the illusion that that is going to, uh, um, uh, generate, uh, tens of thousands of views. <laughs> so I, I can kind of manipulate how many subscribers, um, I will get in the upcoming months, but obviously I want to get to 1000, uh, quickly.
Ah, uh, you were not here then, uh, Mini Marvels, were you? When when there was lots of people here that were guessing uh, when it was going to happen. It was very, very funny. I, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway on that. Um, so who who's right? We have, how many entries did we get? I think it was quite a bunch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like twenty. Uh, we should do a long stream or two in summer for the mini marvels, obviously. Yes, we uh, we definitely should, and I can. Um, it just uh, we just need to. Uh, set a date for that and i'll i'll bring my uh i'll i'll bring my um maybe just bring my setup right it's very easy for me to just bring everything um that i that i have right here that's sitting right here uh take it with the car and uh get over there it's quite a portable setup so um so yeah except for the paints obviously but i can yeah We can do like a marathon uh, <laughs> stream, maybe. Uh, by that time, my house is back being a house, so there's a guest room if you don't want to drive home late. Sabathon confirmed. <laughs> What's up, Celestrian? What's going on? Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, Sabathon. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm starting to feel like a bit of a boomer, but I do not really know how that works. I can imagine how that works by hearing it, but I'm not sure what it is. Um... Uh, part of the setup ready got key lights etc that that is nice because the only light that i have is is a uh, is a ring light <laughs> uh, and of course these philip u lights behind me but uh oh you absolute boss celestrian thank you very very much thank you so much subscribe for three months thank you my sir you are a boss you are a boss <laughs> thank you so much streaks going strong you say i'm uh, online x amount of hours and for every sub we add x amount of time to how long we stream okay 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 Okay, uh, yeah, that's that's easy enough. Oh wow, there's a storm going on outside. It's crazy. I will look into what a subathon is. Oh, by the way, I um, I did set up my Discord now. Or no, I should rephrase this. <laughs> um. I made a server and I did a few um, a few channels on there and stuff um, because especially in the last couple of streams there was a lot of people asking for it um, I have to properly set it up still but I think it will be a um, yeah, I think it will be nice to uh, to uh, to get that going. Cool, cool. Most streamers only um, 
taking a break for sleep so I even stream uh, stream while sleeping but to be honest that works only if you're super big and farm subs while sleep yeah uh, I mean there's not super there's not a lot to expect from me on that side I can give you an invite uh, Celestrian uh, but then again, it's not really. There you go. I send it to you. There's a, there's nothing going on there. I just made a bunch of channels, um, and uh, that's about it. I just set it up because I know myself. I'm going to postpone having a Discord. So anyone who wants to join the Discord, please do. Uh, this is the one Discord that I'm going to be able to. Um... Oh, you popped up on the on the voice channel there. <laughs> so this is going to be the one place where I just drop some stuff and uh, yeah, do some uh, some some cool things. Um, I do miss like a general. I mean, we have a general one. Right. Okay. I didn't even make like rules or whatever. It's just uh, it's just the first steps. Um, Jonesy, cool, cool. Okay, yes, we can. Um, should I just drop the invite link? Maybe. How? I mean, how? How dangerous is it to just drop a invite link right now? Not really, right? Does it really matter? Yeah, and, and that was kind of like the idea, Celestrian, just to get it up there um, so people can join and then, you know, uh, do that. Uh, one second. Uh, a friend of mine, he's pretty good with Discord, or so he says. <laughs> uh, here's the invite, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I thought. Um, but yeah, a friend of mine, he 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 says he's very good with Discord stuff, and uh, I'm willing to learn as well because I'm I am I'm not a technophobe or something, you know. Um, quite the contrary, but Twitch and Discord, it's all new to me. It's all new to me. awesome well thanks for joining <laughs> and I, I still I mean there's ways to set up your twitch right there's a way to set up apps and um, permission okay yeah okay well I'll just uh, I'll just take a look whenever I'm done uh, streaming I think it was last last stream, like the Monday stream, because I didn't have a Wednesday stream when I was done, and I I just set it up the server. I was like, okay, let's let's just do it, and then we can build from there, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I think Mas Geek is on the lurk, but I think he wanted to join as well, and there were some people on YouTube who wanted to join. Uh, so yeah. I mean, it's great for announcements and that kind of stuff as well, you know, um, for the new videos and when I'm live, I think you can set it up automatically, probably set it up automatically. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see um, to see how it works and what you can do with it. Uh, 
I also have like a few, um, I have a channel um, under content. And I would love it if you guys would just drop in some video or stream ideas or things that I said on the stream that I was going to do, but I didn't. <laughs> that's, that's also a good, a good, <laughs> uh, good way to use it. Um, I mean, I like, um, I like it to be a bit, a uh, bit interactive and, and, and communicate like that. Um, I did like a poll last week on YouTube as well about what kind of content's coming up next. And that was going to be the Mandalorians. People voted and yeah, I like that a lot. It was actually, uh. A lot of people actually participated in that poll, uh, which is funny because normally nobody really looks at the community tab. I have the feeling that they don't at least. And I really also don't want to start off with a whole bunch of channels. I think I have too much now, but it was just kind of like filling it in. But I don't need like a specific Age of Sigmar channel or which I have right now. I mean, I don't even I don't even play or, or own any Age of Sigmar. That's not entirely true, by the way, because I have some Warhammer Underworld stuff. But yeah, you know, it's it's. It's not going to be about that, I think. So probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. Probably going to, um, to remove some of those. Okay, cool. I think the second layer of Rage Brown is really, really nice actually. I'm going to do that with some more models. Oh, Celestrian, by the way, I was just talking about it with um, uh, kind of like in general in the in the chat. Um, did you see Fallout, the series? Did you give it a go yet or are you not a Fallout fan at all or? it a lot <laughs> and 
And I started playing Fallout 4 again because of it. Howdy. What's up, Omni? I'm doing very good. I'm doing very good. How are you doing? Uh, Omni, if you want, I set up a Discord. <laughs> But I can imagine that you have uh, one too many. Um, you guys, please follow Praise the Omnisaya. Uh, she's online uh, usually on um, Wednesdays in the mornings and then in the evenings. Uh, Discord. Ah, I still have to set that up, uh, Omni. But uh, let's say that um, here, this is your uh, your your prayers. <laughs> Hydrate. It's it's out, Mini Marvels. I downed the entire thing. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, Omni, we, we really just set it up. Uh, I really just set it up. Um, it's not full of lots of stuff. There's there's no chatting going on yet, but I'm going to uh, breathe some life into it uh, and, and think about some cool stuff that we can do on there. So yeah, seems to be any day now. Lol, I was thinking of going live soon as gaming night is postponed. Okay, so gaming night you mean... Um, you also game with Lorna, right? Baldur's Gate? Or is that not... Am I totally wrong now? Uh, but so Omni uh, streams a lot more than I just told you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, it's postponed. Oh, too bad. Too bad. Well, if you go live and if you're on for a little bit longer, uh, I can uh, definitely uh, raid into you if you're still there. I'm going to have an early night today because I have uh, early work tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah. I do think, uh, though, you guys, that I'm going to finish... I, I, I know... I know that I'm always saying this, but I think I'm going to finish this squad today. Um, uh, well, I have to be in Eindhoven. Um... At 7.30. Eindhoven is like um, an hour and 40 minutes or something. Uh, but it's very busy. It's, it's going to be very busy early on. Mm, so I'm going to have to get up at like uh, 5.30 or something. Uh, so yeah. I have a video shoot over there. Uh, but that's okay. I actually... Um, it's okay to me to go on... It, it feels it feels okay to go on early. I just don't want to stop like early uh, every single time. But I want to try and extend my uh, stream times a little bit. Because I noticed that I did like uh, three hours. Last couple of streams. Yeah, I know uh, Mini Marvels. I uh, I worked for myself for the most part of my life, or for the most part of my career, I should say. Um, and those those were the days. Yes, I hope to get in a position to uh, to uh, continue that. I just think it's a yeah, it's a bit too risky for me right now. If you have any suggestions or chances or whatever, though, let me know <laughs> because I um, I love working for myself. Thing is, though, I really do enjoy it at my work. Um, it's it's a very very nice environment, young young people. Which uh, has been a while for me since I <laughs> conversed and worked with with younger people. My previous job was a pretty dusty place, if I may say it like that. Um, so it's a really nice change.
Did I use Flesh Terror's Red for their... I don't think so. I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. I think it was just a straight Mephiston Red. So let's just do that. Um, and and many marvels. Also, I all I always wake up early. I always wake up early. That's never a problem for me. Even even if I had like very short nights, it's no problem for me. Except when it's a really really short night. Um, and then I'm talking about well, kind of. I can call it back in the day now when I used to still go out and stuff. I don't do that a lot anymore. Um, but when I do, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I, I won't, I won't be awake um, until like 12 or something. We're running on three hours of sleep. Oi. Okay. Any particular reason, uh, Gut? Just uh, had a bad night. Okay, okay. Well, it's for a good cause then. But that can... Um, it can take a lot of energy. Especially when you're missing sleep. But I'm sure she or he... Uh, uh, appreciated it. I'm sorry for the auto, uh, yeah, <laughs> I see. Uh. Allowed. <laughs> it was the sucked part that they didn't like. Glad this is not a channel about vacuum cleaners then, I guess. <laughs> Such prude, yes. Probably is Omni. It's pretty, um, it's pretty strict as well, I think. I mean, come on. It's like even in, 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 in kids shows, right? That they're talking about, you suck. <laughs> I 
maybe there's a way that I can um, I can fix that. I don't think I've had that one come up as auto modded or uh, one of my mods sorted it for me. Yeah, um, it's probably from uh, Stream Elements. I should check the uh, the list. Probably Suck is on there. Oh, cool! I have not played that yet. Um, it's um, it's a of Dutch making, right? I have a few uh, a few friends that work for um, Guerrilla Games. Um, I have not played a single one of their games. Uh, only, um, like, what was it called? Kill Zone? That was a Guerrilla game as well, right? I have not played Horizon. Was, yeah, maybe one day, but I have so much games to finish. It's unbelievable. I uh, I still have to I still have to finish uh, Ghost of Tsushima as well, which I enjoyed a lot. Yeah, I am not one of those gamers that just skips through story at all. Uh, the problem with me is that I play a game over in a weekend most of the times. And then the next weekend I might have something else planned. And then the next weekend I kind of forget about it. And the next weekend I just play another game, like an easy game or a board game. And then we are a month further uh, ahead and I kind of forgot about the story and I kind of feel like just starting over, you know? <laughs> so that's my problem and that's what happened with uh, lots of games with me. Um, 
the first time that I had this little thing that I just <laughs> talked about was with uh, with Skyrim actually. I, I started Skyrim over countless of times. It must have been 10 plus times that I started over. Because uh, those games are also really, really big. It, uh, maybe uh, Zero Dawn is like, like Horizon is more like a, is it more like a linear game maybe? That you can just, yeah, you know, sl slowly just get into because normally with open world games I just get lost you know I just get lost I get lost in all the cool things that there is to do you know like it just happens <laughs> 120 hours, wow. Um, the, the, the last game that... Apart from maybe like... Apart from uh, some other games, but when... Uh, the last like one of those bigger games that I finished was Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, which I enjoyed a whole bunch. And I actually finished that one. Uh, but I have Baller's Gate. That I played for uh, 60 plus hours. And then kind of stopped. I do know where I am in that story though. So Baller's Gate is like a game that I could still just pick up. But I need a lot of time to go into the world of Baller's Gate. It's... Um, I cannot play this game for a few hours because then I will, um, no, it, it's no. What? That's insanity. <laughs> What, what is that even, uh, Celestrian? I don't want to look it up. What is it? Okay, okay. I don't think I've ever heard of it. But sometimes a game just uh, just sticks, right? I had it with uh, with Planet Zoo actually. <laughs> Planet Zoo was it was a game that I played for uh, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of hours. Um. And Stellaris is a game that I played for hundreds of hours. And Crusader Kings is a game that I played for hundreds of hours. And probably like Civilization, that kind of that kind of games. 4X games, I think they're called. Uh, Crusader Kings 3, I actually wanna I wanna play.
Uh, Endgame is basically where your PC runs in seconds per frame instead of frames per second. <laughs> Okay, okay, crazy. That's just because there's so much going on then. Jesus. Ah, that will make for some cool gameplay videos, I think. I will, uh, after the stream, I will look up what it is. EVE Online, yeah. Ah, uh, I was talking about that with a friend, uh, Mini Marvels. Is it still, um... Are you still playing it, or is it just kind of like life got in the way? Because I, I played like a little bit through that beginning phase that you could do, you know? Uh, Hearts of Iron, I... Um, Hearts of Iron is, al is also a paradox game, right? I was mistaken for a, a strategy game that I... Uh, that I have in my Steam list. Yeah, Hearts of Iron is, I think it's like Second World War Crusader Kings, kinda. My last bed is 40k buildings. I did not play Hearts of Iron, but I um, might try it. But this is this is you know these these are this is also like one of those games that you cannot just pick up for a couple of hours, or at least I cannot. And do you guys know um, there's another game that I played? that I remember playing a lot. Um, uh, Bannerlord, uh, Mountain Blade. Mountain Blade Bannerlord, I should say. And the first one, I'm not sure what it was called. That was a real fun game. You were just... Uh, You were just a lord, or you were not even a lord. You could be whoever you wanted to be. You could be a merchant with with um, with like a whole posse of, of of people, and you could go to different towns, and then you can recruit more people. And all of a sudden, you uh, you're a king, uh, and you have wars going on. Yeah, this was awesome. And then all of a sudden, some other king thought you were getting a bit too big. <laughs> and they'd mess you up good. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a fun game. It was a very basic game, but then Bannerlord came out, which is a bit more. It looks a bit nicer and stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, Hearts of Iron. I'll check it out. I mean, I always have the problem that it's. It has to be available on Mac because I um, I work on my MacBook mostly. I do have a gaming PC, but it's a very old one. I never use it. Um, I mean, I could bring that in some someday soon. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a Mac fanboy. <laughs> And I have to be honest about this. Um, my streaming stuff. I never... Okay, let's say last week I did have some problems. But I think that was because of my internet. But, but streaming... I never had any problems with just this MacBook of mine. Everything is connected to it. So like uh, a professional Sony camera... I have like a wireless iPhone right here that is, you know, right here, this one. Um, microphones, everything, HDMI going in, stuff going out. Um, it, it never ran into any trouble. And I, 
I'm pretty impressed by it. I didn't know it was... When I started streaming, I did not know it was capable of doing this. I, I, I kind of thought I was going to, uh, going to have to buy myself a streaming PC. But um, yeah, I, I never had, I never had to, basically. Uh, I've not owned an Apple product since the iPod. <laughs> Uh, not going to stream Omni. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, what's up, Roland? Gaming on a Mac. Arg. Yeah, I know. I know, uh, Celestrian. Um, gaming on a Mac. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It works. How are you doing, Roland? You were coming in hoping to see some Blood Bowl, maybe. <laughs> um, Roland, to be honest, I'm, I'm getting a bit tired of the Star Wars uh, painting the troopers. <laughs> so soon I'm going to have some, uh, some Blood Bowl uh, streams. Uh, some Blood Bowl... Um, yeah, I also need to get some drones done. Some drones, some gnomes, sorry. Don't we all? Yeah, it's funny because Mini Marvels it has released a, an army of drones upon <laughs> upon the Netherlands and, and uh, yeah. Screw the Blood Bowl, we need to get one drone... Uh, dr God damn! Gnome done soon, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we do, but I want to make a video about it. Oh, actually, Roland, it reminds me. Um, I think I'm going to do my first diorama ever with the gnomes. Uh, my dad got me some of the uh, XPS foam. Which I never worked with before. I never made a diorama. Uh, but I think it will be a very cool project to do like a... Um, to do like a pond. And then with the... Kind of stole it from uh, from Rainbow Wrangler, another streamer. But a diorama b a build would be pretty cool. Uh, and then make a video about it and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so yeah, and Blood Bowl. I, I'm actually looking forward to paint up some, um, to paint some orcs. It's been a while since I did any green skin. The last one was like the Gloom Spite Gits, I think. It was funny how I got a specific painting set from the army painter to do, <laughs> to do like um, the Gloom Spite Gits box. Uh, it was basically it was this set I showed it before I think. So these are some nice colors for um, for the Blood Bowl orcs. Very excited for those. This the the Blood Bowl. Uh, it's it's a bit of a bigger skill, I have the feeling. I already had that feeling with my um, with my Elven Union team. But Ruland, what have you been up to? Any exciting uh, product projects that uh, that you're working on right now? I mean, you, you're painting up a lot. Whenever I check uh, check your Instagram, there's some cool stuff going on usually. 
how, how many days in the week do you do you paint? Because I think I am just very, very slow. Angron, okay, just like uh, Borak was also painting up an Angron, but a, a while back, I think. Angron is uh, is pretty big. I'll be back later. Phone just needs charging. Cool, Jonesy. That's that's all good. I will. Um, I'm going to have to take a little break myself. Uh, but I'll see you soon enough. Uh, about seven to eight hours a week. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, I think it's about the same for me. Uh, let's say like six, seven. I don't do a lot of off-stream painting anymore because I use... Uh, Maybe when I'm when I'm doing a video about a certain uh, certain topic, then I paint off stream sometimes. But usually streaming is uh, it's my painting uh, painting days. It was funny because I saw one of your, uh, I think it was one of your stories um, that the the video with the um, with the buggy um, and the grot underneath it, it was still picking up. Uh, <laughs> it, it it was getting picked up again or something. I mean, it was such a such a creative um, creative idea it was very very cool I think it was also like the surprise factor of you know turning it around and, uh, and everything but I think the response for that was was amazing oh red caps oh my lord I'm so done with the red caps. No, I just want to get these guys, uh, this red squad. Would love to get them done today. So weird, all of a sudden it leaped to live again and 20, uh, 25k views were added in a week. <laughs> 150k people according to statistics. Yeah, crazy. But I mean, it's 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 one of those videos that you would... Yeah, I mean, you would you would see those videos, right? You, you, you see... It, it was just a very cool idea. How did you how did you uh, how did you come up with it? Was it just just all of a sudden like hmm I have one of those grots and I have a buggy or was it planned before? Yeah, so so my Instagram uh, my Instagram really I, I really have to put some more effort into it. 
Um, or at least I don't have to, but uh, I want to. Especially, I, I don't make a lot of pictures, you know? And I should make pictures. It's just that uh, time sometimes is a, is a problem. started last year when people were complaining about the Rogaldoran tank but I said to a friend of mine you have all kinds of vehicles uh, without a bottom so why would it be a problem for the Rogaldoran tank <laughs> yeah And then I asked if I could make something for this um, uh, tree, sp tree spree, uh, okay, <laughs> buggies. And I made three versions. One of them is the goblin with dynamite. Yeah, very cool. I loved it. I think the first time that I saw it, I didn't even know that it was yours. It was just, it was shown on my feet or something. Or you showed it off on stream, I'm not sure. <laughs> Spareen. And then I asked if, yeah, so yeah, Spareen, sorry. We already went through that. Yeah, it was, it was a great idea. Very, very cool. And it looked good. Was that uh, was it goblin? Was it was it? I, I can't really remember what the goblin looked like. I think he was like like this, right? Was he kid bashed? Or what, from what kid was uh, was that one? From the grots a little box. Clip them, reposition the arms a bit to get the pose right. Cool. 
Yeah, uh, I actually... And like most of the stuff that you do or some of the stuff that you repost... Um, uh, it, it, it actually, it kind of, um, it kind of inspires me to, uh, to do uh, more of that, like kit bashing and, uh, wait a second, wait a second. We got a raid going on. <laughs> What's going on retired. Thank you so much for, for raiding into my little channel. I hope your, uh, your stream was good, man. How's it going? How is it? How is it to be back? Uh, you have been back for two weeks now, I think, right? Retired. If you do not follow Retired, please uh, go check him out. Very, very awesome dude, and and, and cool, uh, cool streams too. Uh, very chatty in the um, uh, on the streams. Very, very nice to check out. Well, thank you so much, retired. Um, if if you do not know me, you guys, uh, welcome in. Sorry, retired. The auto mod is uh, is is doing uh, his thing again. Um, if you do not know me, welcome in. My name is The Winnest. I do uh, streams uh, twice a week and I do, uh, most importantly, I do YouTube videos. Um, if you want to check me out, I have the same username uh, on YouTube and I try to do um, as much content as I can fit in my life. <laughs> Uh, and I try to uh, I try to make them the, uh, as high quality as possible. So. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, uh, I was listening to it for a bit. Uh, retired. There was something about. Um, oh, thank you, Roland. Thank you. <laughs> uh, retired. There was something about like the. I heard something about the. Was it Star Wars that you guys talking about? Like, like someone who had like an airsoft Star Wars gun or or something. Yeah, so the last video um, is an unboxing for most of the things you need for uh, Blood Bowl, for Blood Bowl 7s to be specific. Uh, and the last couple of videos before that was mostly about Star Wars Legion. Um, and you'll see a lot of Star Wars Legion content on here, but but all kinds of, uh, all kinds of content. Uh, there's a lot I like. There's a lot I still want to do. Uh, so little time though, but uh, I'm trying to fit in uh, as much as I uh, as much as I can. Does airsoft Star Wars LARP? Wow. Okay. That that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Uh, yeah, I was just listening in on it uh, a little bit. Uh, retired. But I'm glad you're back to the to the streaming thing, uh, retired. Because uh, yeah, just just uh, just uh, missed uh, having you around, man. I know when I just started up that you were always online and we were always I was always at your streams and and then all of a sudden uh, you were gone. But I'm I'm glad I'm glad that you're back again.
Yeah, so I've noticed uh, retired. I am uh, also still amazed about um, how awesome this uh, this little community is. I mean, last week was last week was probably the craziest when I had just streamed and I talked to Rainbow Wrangler a bit. And then an hour later, I stopped streaming. I think I read it into her. And she said she was maybe going to paint up like my, um, uh, my avatar. And then she came up with like a super sick, super sick drawing. I will show it off. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Dark messages. Rainbow, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. <laughs> I mean, how cool is this? <laughs> and this actually, we're going to give this away. Uh, this is going to be part of the, the giveaway that we're doing for... I mean, a, a funny little competition that we set up last time. Yeah, isn't this this isn't this too cool? I mean, also compare it. You can see like my um, right down here. You can see my um, my branding. Look at how how the colors match and how they would match in real life. She just painted this up just just for fun. It's it's going to be she she uh, cut it out and everything. So it's a sticker. Um, so yeah very very cool um, and it's going to be part of a giveaway which we just started because I started talking about hmm when 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 am I going to hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and then everybody was guessing and then I was like okay you know what let's make a uh, little competition and then we got like 20 people who are in the giveaway right now. And they are rain like, like they they set a date like okay, this is the day that you're going to hit 1000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, the one who's close is going to win. That's basically how it's going to work. <laughs> so yeah. It was funny. I hope um I hope I'm going to be able to send it to that person that they don't live in like uh, I don't know. Somewhere f very far or hard to reach. Yeah, I can just bring it over, uh, Roland. I can really just bring it over. Yeah, but what I was talking about before the raid was going on, uh, Roland, that um, your your work on Instagram and all the stuff that you share, because you do do a lot of sharing other people's work, which is really, really awesome of you, my man. Um, it inspires me to uh, to maybe in the future pick up like some some smaller projects, you know, because now I'm always like, okay, let's finish up the entire Rebel Range that I have right now. Let's finish up the entire set of uh, the Battle for Skull Pass. And it takes, a long time and i see people like on twitch but also on um on instagram just you know take one mini at a time like a nice little gnome for example paint up a little gnome easy does it you know so i'm i'm <laughs> i'm tempted to uh to go uh towards that route pretty quickly also because my time is pretty limited nowadays um but then just concentrate on on that one model and um, yeah make some some cool content about it obviously as well 
Uh, so yeah. So yeah. And just get get a little bit more creative with um, with the single models as well. You know, like the the thing you did with um, with the buggy or with the tank. And also, like, not everything has to be part of a game, you know? Although it is really nice, for example, for Necromunda. No, I'm sorry, for more time. I think you do a lot of more time stuff, like Warbands. I made a video about it, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to rewatch my video soon. I, I have not done it, uh, like not the older ones. I watched the, the Star Wars tournament video uh, for a bit. But I'm also, I'm planning to do like a more of a, like hobby video soon. Um, like maybe, maybe one of the subjects, like a bit of the subject matter that I was talking about before. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. It's, it's the same with YouTube, you know, mixing it up is nice. Like the last video, the unboxing that I did, um, it really needs to, still needs to pick up some steam on YouTube and it probably will but not you know it's not going to go into the tens of thousands of views but probably um like around the 500 or something i hope at least but this was a really really fun video to do because as i was making it i found myself like wow dude you're 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 talking in this super calm voice you're almost like making an asmr video and i was like why not make this unboxing <laughs> an asmr parody video um and it was really fun to produce because you really have to go like okay let's let's unbox some you know you have to do some different stuff with the mics and uh yeah that was just uh, that was it was a lot of fun to do i think that's really important when doing youtube um doing anything basically it really goes for anything. Uh, I'm going to have to leave already, uh, but I'll be here on Wednesday. Cool, mini marvels. I will see you then. I will not. Uh, I will not be on for much longer myself, uh, to be honest. Like I said, I have to get up at 5.30 tomorrow for a uh, pretty big video shoot. Um, so yeah. And then I, Wednesday, I <laughs> on Thursday, I also have a pretty big video shoot, but that's going to be, uh, it's not going to be that early. Yeah, Roland, that's that's what I thought when I when I uh, when I was done. When I was done with the video, I was like, okay, that that's kind of like the like the tone that he he 
users kind of but it's fun to um yeah i i saw a video by uh miniac i think it's an old it was an old video he was talking about his how he records his videos and everything without me knowing anything about how he did it but i noticed that in my own videos i have the same kind of tones and the same kind of short kind of paragraphs um in how he speaks and everything and that is partly because i know now how he he records exactly i do record exactly the same as he does so he he learns a few lines um, um, uh, from memory basically and he does a few off camera and then he switches that up you know and that's exactly what i do um which was cool to find out because that's that's how humans basically get a certain tone in their voice <laughs> um apparently and that was cool to find out uh so yeah Yeah, it has been it has been a long time <laughs> since I made I, I really I started making videos when I was uh, yeah a teenager basically, but really uh, like started making music videos when I was about like 19 or 18 years old or something. So that's quite some time ago. But uh, thank thank you. I appreciate it a lot. It's, um, yeah, like I said at the end of the video, you know, I'm not sure if anyone has seen that. <laughs> it was quite a, a long part. I, I, I paid a little tribute to uh, to someone who we have lost uh, last week, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I learned a lot from him. So like I said in the video, uh, yeah. Uh, a lot is thanks to uh, the teachings of this amazing, amazing man. And I have something cool to show, by the way. Because the videos are going to get a just a little bit nicer better quality the zoom ins are going to be are going to get better um because i can crop right now i i have a very old camera so this is a very 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 old camera it's 10 years old um and it was my like my second professional camera basically uh, it's a hybrid camera shooting uh, photo and video it's a sony a7s um, this one right now it has a vintage lens on it so it has kind of like a uh, a feel but it was ready for replacement um, i've been using it for a long time but 
you know it, it i wanted to get something new so i got a new camera finally like a a good proper proper camera uh, and here it is this is the sony a7c mark ii it's um it's really really awesome i uh yeah, I, I'm, I'm still getting to grips with it a bit, but it's just the Sony system, you know, so it's it's great. The lens on it is uh, not a full frame lens, by the way. It's an APS-C size lens. As you can see, this is the nice full frame. I love it. So this week or next week, Whatever, whenever the new video is coming out, uh, the video is going to be shot on uh, on this on this beauty. I'm in love. I really am in love. It's it's an awesome camera. It's just really convenient to use. You know, it's it's uh, um, like with this old camera right here, the the out of focus is really really bad uh, compared to what the standard is nowadays especially but i cannot like like also the batteries are getting very very lame um the camera is very very slow that camera so you know jumping 10 years ahead with cameras with um yeah with this one basically now it's um it's quite the leap it's it's pretty insane it has all sorts of crazy out of focus modes that you can um, uh, that you can you can do like a, a animal eye out of focus so normally you would have like animal out of focus now you have an animal eye out of focus and this goes for like birds in the sky and stuff so Sony is known to have like the best out of focus um, systems out there and this this guy is actually the fastest i think this is the fastest out of focus camera of all of them because this is like one of the newest ones what this also does is like it it frame it can frame you as a subject in the shot so if i would move then the entire camera insides they, they would move with me so this frame basically that you see right here would move uh that way <laughs> if i do this it would move you know so that's pretty um that's pretty exciting to uh to work with um and it's it's a bit compacter so this this is a bit more compact i should say um this is uh this is a bit smaller than than that camera right there and i'm super super happy with it and it's been 10 years and Sony has been bringing out cameras all the time, you know. Uh, so <laughs> I, I FOMO'd I FOMO badly the last couple of, um, the last decade basically. Uh, but now it was time. It's also, I'm just going to pick it up again. I'm just going to talk about this camera right now. And Roland, I have seen your comment. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll, I'll probably do an equipment uh, video one day, yes. Because it's kind of ridiculous if you see like my setup right now. It's it's ridiculous. Um, uh, but yeah, this it's just also the way that it looks. You know, it's it's such a nice. It looks it, it looks so cool. We as news want to know. Uh, I I can do a gear video. I uh, maybe I can do it pretty soon because there has been people especially in the stream asking about it like how can i um how do i make my stream look so good <laughs> and it's actually it's it's not that hard you know you don't need a lot of stuff uh, you don't need a lot of money for it if you would pick up this camera like the old camera and all the stuff that i need it would be a very very professional looking setup for not a lot of money. Also, this microphone. Um, this microphone is is very very old. Kind of like my first uh, my first podcast microphone, kind of. Uh, 
Yeah, Celestrian. So I was just kind of flexing my new camera. Have you seen it? Ooh. I love it. I love it. <laughs> makeup. Yeah, I do need makeup. I'm, I'm starting to look, uh, look old as fuck, actually. So, um, yeah, I love it, Celestrian. It's, um, it, it was a bit of, um, it was a bit of a gamble for me because I heard some stories about overheating issues and battery life and that kind of stuff. Uh, but then again, you know, I, I, I'm not planning to do very long shoots on it. I am planning to do um, live streams with it. It may be the replacement for whatever happens here. So this camera, this is my iPhone. I might, I might do live streams on it, but I don't want to mess it up also, you know? So uh, I will, um, I will see. Yeah, I know this is, this is like, I, uh, I just talked about why why I bought this camera a bit. Uh, this is I never ever um, if if I want to have like all the cameras in the world and and um, uh, be my own cameraman and that kind of stuff. That's not going to happen again. Not really. Like if I really need a backup camera, I can use this professionally for sure. This is this it looks so amazing and with. With the picture profiles that this has, like, um, uh, and with the S-Log that it has, it's very, very technical stuff. Um, this can look very, 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 very good. Um, up to professional level for sure. Um, but what I do nowadays is I normally, I just produce or I direct the videos that I make. So I just hire someone who has his own super professional camera and yeah this is this is just my my fun camera that i can bring to whatever trip i'm going on uh whatever vacation i'm going on this is this is perfect for that um and for my youtube channel so this is this is really mm, this is my a camera for the youtube cha channel right now we have not had any problems with it no, I, I, I don't uh, suspect to be any problems either. I mean, the A7 IV or the A7 V was another option. Uh, but I really wanted to have like all the AI stuff that's hidden inside this thing. Um, because I really want to play with that, you know, with the, uh, the auto framing thing. Um, and the autofocus. Oh my God. God, like, like I have not. Yeah, this is ridiculous. The autofocus is just ridiculous. Um, and I can just connect it with USB C to my to my computer, and I can stream with it. The only problem with that is it's going to get probably get gets overheated, but we can solve that with using like a dummy battery like i do with that one because that one also runs on a dummy battery not its own battery because that's impossible that's that's not going to happen uh so yeah super excited about the um about this camera and you know the autofocus is going to be really cool with uh with miniatures as well because if i Ah, I can actually, maybe I can show it off a bit. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. But the autofocus on this is very, very good. And I think I can set it to... So I'm just kind of trying something out now. Uh... Yeah, it works very well with um, it works very well with miniatures as well. I just need the right lens for it probably because this is not really happy.
<laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's it's crazy. It, 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 sorry, I was uh, I was kind of geeking out about it. Um, so yeah, I I had I had a big decision to make uh, between this and buying myself a Leica, like a Leica film camera. Uh, but I don't deserve a Leica yet. <laughs> that's that's what I feel like. Uh, just to put it in, into perspective, a Leica is uh, is a plus two thousand euro camera for the body only, um, and you use it for film photography. I have a lot of film photography cameras already, um, and I've used them a lot. But uh, yeah, it doesn't feel right to to spend so much money on a thing that I'm not going to use a lot you know this is this is really going to help me with the channel um, uh, so yeah there we go um, you guys I'm going to check who we can um, who who we can raid into because I am going to have to call it a day like as the Rolex of the cameras yeah I was looking at a Leica M6 a friend of mine has one um, and I shot on it one one time Holy crap. It was really, really cool. Uh, let's see. Your dad. Ooh, cool. I don't think I would allow my son to touch it. <laughs> Only when I die. <laughs> I don't have a son, by the way, but uh, um, yeah. Thank you for uh, for joining in. Uh, I'll be back on uh, on Wednesday again. It was nice, uh, nice to talk to you, uh, Roland. Yeah, sorry for the short one, you guys. It was really, uh, really short one, but I, I really, really need to get to bed. Um, yeah, like I said, I have to get up at 5.30. Oh, for a big production, actually. Um, commercial production is going to be uh, going to be awesome. Looking forward to it, but I'll be back this Wednesday. Okay, we're going to raid into uh, into Jace. If you do not follow Jace, I think you do. But if you do not follow him, he's an awesome painter. He's getting better and better. You see. Like a lot of progress in his streams, which is always great to see, I think. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, if you do not follow him, please do. Thanks so much for being here tonight. You guys are awesome. Um, and I'll be back on Wednesdays um, with a bit of a longer stream. And you know what? I think we're going to do something new this Wednesday. Because I'm a bit fed up with painting Star Wars Legion Troopers right now, like the basic Rebel Troopers. So it's going to be something new. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but um, yeah, let's 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 check out what what cool thing. If you have requests, by the way, just join the Discord and tell me what you want to see. That's also an idea. Uh, for now, thanks a lot for being here, you guys, and um, yeah, see you guys later. Bye bye.